Air New Zealand Board Chair Dame Tuis Walsh and Tourism Minister Stuart Nash Joint CEO Greg Foran who announced the airline will return to the Big Apple later this year. Video NZ Herald Air New Zealand Board Chair Dame Therese Walsh and Tourism Minister Stuart Nash Joint CEO Greg Foran who announced the airline will return to the Big Apple later this year. Video NZ Herald Passengers have got a sneak peek inside Air New Zealand's long-awaited business class revamp after photos appeared on the US Department of Transport. The first look at the sleeper pods first surfaced via the filings by the airline's US lawyers and were picked up by the Paxex Aero blog. Gone are the herringbone, angled seats in favor of a more conventional arrangement, forward-facing 1-2-1 reclining seats. It's the first look at what passengers can expect from business premier class on the US-bound 787-9 Dreamliners. A project which the airline has kept closely guarded. A side view of Air New Zealand's new business premier Lux suite. Photo US Department of Transportation. Air New Zealand will be configuring its business class cabin to incorporate these new seats and requests this determination no later than April 29, 2022, so that it may proceed with certification and installation, reads the public filings from Washington firm of Pillsbury Winthrop Shaw Pittman. The pictures and details accidentally leaked by the Department of Transport show a product not unlike the lie-flat business sleeper pods of airlines like Qatar Airways, which were recently installed on their Dreamliner fleet. Demonstration of the side panels in Air New Zealand's business premium product. Photo US Department of Transportation. A proposed seat map of the 787 was also included revealing more about the design of the seat layout. Intriguingly, the divisive herringbone formation which has been on the aircraft since 2014 has been raked back to a more modest 24-degree angle to the aircraft fuselage for a more front-facing profile. Further details reveal the seats will be 20.5 wide, extending into 80.25 flat beds, with a seat pitch of 4.5. The leaked layout of passengers aboard Air New Zealand's proposed 787-9 configuration. Photo US Department of Transport. However the 121 configuration and privacy screens mean that they are likely to be a more deluxe option, with fewer seats per flight. With what appears to be only four business premier Lux seats in the front row, these options are likely to appeal to high rolling business travellers or the high value tourists that New Zealand is hoping to court with a return to international travel. The distinctive 2014 Herringbone business class seats on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner received mixed reviews. Photo Brett Fibs. These photos are the first look inside the airline's secretive Hangar 22 facility in Auckland, claiming to be a mock-up business premier cabin in our research and development facilities. The four-year project has been about refitting the Dreamliner fleet for long-distance luxury travel. This includes destinations like the highly anticipated direct New York flights scheduled for September. Air New Zealand confirmed the photos are genuine and part of safety submissions made to the US Department of Transport. Chief Customer and Sales Officer Leanne Garada said the photos concerned show plans for accessible seating and that adapting the product for customers with disabilities was a focus of the enhanced aircraft offering. Air New Zealand confirmed that accessibility would be a big part of the enhanced business product. Photo US Department of Transportation this is a very early submission and as part of the process, we are required to get approval from authorities such as the US Department of Transport to ensure the seats meet the latest design and safety requirements specified, she said. Adapting the product for customers with disabilities was a focus, said the airline. Photo US Department of Transport. Prior projects such as the Lifelight beds were also submitted via the process in order to be allowed to fly internationally. The airline says that more than 80,000 design and engineering hours have gone into the new business premier seats, along with 18 months of customer research and testing, so. Garada said there is a lot more under development in Hangar 22 still to be revealed, and by no means is this the extent of what we're doing. The submission appeared on the DOT website on March 29, 2022, after inadvertently being made public domain. The request for the new configuration as an equivalent alternative to current seating is currently under review, hoping to be accepted by next month.